up guys this is I, I host here and today I'd like to do a uh, quick city of tweak review um, now I'd like to do the city of tweak review just because it's an awesome city of tweak and I do feel that um, it adds a lot more uh, stuff to go for your iPhone iPod touch or even iPad I believe this works for so as you guys see if you look at my dock real quick you will see a little tab that kind of looks like a Android device little tab that's on the bottom now I do realize it is covering um, parts of my uh, dock which is the reason why I kind of disprove this um little thing which I which I do wish they would fix to make it where you can move it to uh, wherever on your springboard um, but it actually looks pretty cool like this if you can see the little tab it kind of looks like an Android thing but you can still if you can see my winter board is kind of getting covered by it but you can still click on winter board like if you can get it right you just click on winter board and it will go it still works but uh, with this little city of tweak it will either you can either touch it to make it pop up or you can drag it up what whatever one you prefer and as you can see here you have a um to go back to a song god damn it uh you can go back to a song you can play or pause a song or you can skip a song to go to the next one and also you have your all your applications that are on your iphone um i don't have that much right now but uh, <laughs> and you can also access this in your um in your settings it's called android loader it will be down in below in the description if you did miss the name, but it's in the title as well, so I mean, whatever, I'll just put it in the description too. But you can have your settings as hide icons, um, hidden icons, sorry, uh, alphabet alpha <laughs> alphabetical sorting, sorry, close on launch, paging, I have paging enabled, I will disable just to show you, respring to apply changes if you do make any changes to this, add labels slow which I don't care about so I just click the respring to apply changes option and we'll just let my iPhone respring and I will go ahead and show you the repos to get it for free, the pricing and the author of this um, little city of tweak. So um, now you will see that there's no more paging, you just simply scroll just like a normal Android phone. And, uh, yeah, so if you do end up liking, if you did like this tweak that I just did a quick little review of, uh, you're going to want to do the following. Just open up your Cydia, and if you didn't already, if you don't have any repos, you're just freshly jailbroken, you're new to jailbreaking, you looked up some Cydia stuff to install, and this video came up, I'll just add the following repos that are in the description. Uh, there's going to be three, the iHacks repo, the repo on the eye, and the XLS repo. Now, if you are a new jailbreaker, I do recommend you install all three of these repos. They're, these are really awesome repos to have on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. So once you have either that all of them installed, if you don't know how to install, just go to the Manage tab down there in the bottom, Sources, Edit, Add, and type the following source that you want. The one, all of them will be in the description down below, and then just click Add Source. I'm going to cancel because I already have all three installed. So the first one is iHacks, like I said, uh, Repo Insanely I, and then the X Cellize one right there. So all you're going to do is simply just search Android Loader, all one word. Um, just search it and <clears throat> it's gonna come up here alright so here we are the Android loader from the original Big Boss re uh, I mean on my eye repo sorry it is two ninety nine by Sir Enix or whatever however you pronounce this guy's name it is version 1.01 .01. and um, it says introducing Android loader for iOS which is a symbol a single tab for or slider gesture you are able to launch and view all your applications in one place it's an Android style on your iOS device, which is pretty cool. And also, I'm sorry, it's not available for the iPad yet. I did accidentally say that. I am sorry. It will, um, it will be going to, um, it will be going to the iPad. It, set, it does say, uh, potentially this could take over your Springboard. So I don't know. Whatever. It's just not available for the uh, iPad. I'm sorry, guys. But if you do not want to pay for this, just go to, go to the description, and you will see that it will add a simple Android tab here, which is pretty cool. So if you guys didn't, I've never seen an Android phone. Every Android phone has this little tab at the bottom of their thing, but they don't have the dock. You can also remove your dock, which I don't really re recommend doing. Removing your dock because I use my dock all the time. All my important applications that I use all the time are in my dock, which is my Cydia install as Winterboard settings and iPod. I do listen to a lot of music on my iPhone. So this is a pretty awesome tweak, guys. I definitely recommend you check this out. And also, I did get a message from some guy asking how I got my RAM in my um in my status bar. 
by free RAM. If you don't know how to do that, just you have to have something called SB settings, which is where you slide the finger up there. Then you just go to the more tab and then go to set toggles, I believe. Which I don't know. Wait, no, 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 no. Sorry. Um, where is it? It's SB settings options. Okay, and then uh, status bar free memory. And then um, you have all these options to add stuff to your SB settings. So that's how I did it, um, if you did not know. But that's how I did it. Uh, I did receive a message from some guy not saying any names or nothing. But that's how I got it, guys. So um, this is I, I Host here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video of a review of a tweet called Android Loader. Please stay tuned to more videos. If you missed my previous video, the link to that video will be down below in the description. And also, if you have never heard or do not know how to jailbreak or not jailbroken yet, my jailbreak video for iOS 4.3.3 and iOS 4.2.8 untethered will be below in the description as well. Also, please uh, thumbs up this video if it helped you out and or, and, or if you like this uh, city of tweak. And subscribe for more if you aren't already. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.